What's going on guys? My name is Bear Witness and today we're going to be talking about 2K19. Now usually I don't make videos like this, but as I said in my video the other day, I wanted to start bringing you guys different content because 2K19 is right around the corner and I'm a big big fan of 2K19. I grind my my player for the last I think I think it's been the last 3 years. Uh, I just really enjoy the game and I want to bring a lot of content to you guys because like I said I'm a grinder, so therefore like I grind badges, you know, things like that. I'm not going to be one of those people that shout out glitches all the time. I'm not personally a big fan of that. Plus, I hate the backlash when you're not right. So, there's that. I only bring you guys content that I actually know for sure on that. But that's not that's besides the point. Now, when we talk about 2K19, there was an event that happened a couple of days ago. It wasn't like a big event. It was just some content creators that came out. And they were there to play in the new 2K19. They were there to talk about it create a hype for the game so this is really cool this is the first time 2k didn't make their own gameplay and like just put it out there to the public they let the content creators themselves like really talk about it really get into it and really come out and play it and they treated them nice and it was nice it was just a really cool event and uh, if you guys aren't like a part of social media or if you guys don't really hop on social media like that you wouldn't have really known about it so that's why i'm talking to you guys about it today but what happened was they well, there was a lot of gameplay and there was a lot of talks about it and the first thing that I noticed was the fact that there is no more blow by animation it's very it's very difficult to get around people especially since they beefed up the defense and so that's kind of a topic I wanted to talk about today but before we get into that heavy we're going to talk about the shot meters now you have the 2k17 option which is by your feet which as you guys know kind of closes on the white line in the middle and then you have the 2K18 option, which is by your hand. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that are talking about, like, oh, use this shot meter for more greens, or use that shot meter for more greens. I don't know. I personally think it's not going to make much of a difference. I might try to fuck around and use both for a while. Then we want to talk about another thing, that they're adding the layup meter back into the game. Now, that was in 2K17. I didn't see it in 2K18, but I'm almost positive the reason why you didn't see it in 2K18 was that it was there. It was just it just wasn't an option. They kind of just kind of went with it and let you kind of figure it out on your own, and that's why people were missing wide open layups. I really feel like that was the problem. But in 2K17, they added the layup meter, and everybody was like, oh, bro, like, why did you add the layup meter? Why? Personally, I don't mind it. I believe that it takes a certain type of finesse as well. And so, if you're go, if you have to time shots, timing layups isn't that big of a deal. It's just when you're in the moment and driving towards the paint, you really kind of don't take focus on that, and that's why it's frustrating when you don't. But that's just the simple fact of it. I think that it's not going to be that big a deal to me, and that's it. Then, guys, we have one more thing that I wanted to talk about, which was there's there's three things in total, and we covered like two of them right now: the shot meter and the layup meter. There's one more thing that I wanted to talk about. I really do feel like 2K19 might have ruined slashers, and I'm going to tell you guys why. When it comes to blow-by animations, I really feel like if you are a slasher, then that's something that you should definitely have. Now, if you're any other archetype, if you're a shooter or if you're a playmaker, I don't necessarily feel like those classes should be able to do necessarily do blow-bys because they already have the dribble moves. Or, well, the playmaker does at least. They already have the dribble moves to get around the defender. But, like, when you have the increased defense that we saw in the clips that we have been able to see from the event. When you have the increased amount of defense, it's like, how is the slasher supposed to actually make it past people? Because they don't have the best dribble moves. They are the fastest clash, but at the same time, you still have to work around getting uh, around your defender. And then, if you're not, like, if you don't have dribble moves, or if you're not good about getting around defenders, then you're kind of lost. And I'm kind of trying to figure out, like, I feel like slashers should have the strength and the acceleration to make it so you do push past people. But, you know, this is all to be, this is like a speculation, because we only saw play now. Like, and so that's the only thing. Now, everybody that plays 2K knows that there's a difference between the game modes. My player sliders and stuff and, and animations are different from the my career. Like, the actual, like, uh, like my park and my career, I have different animations. Like, you're actually in the NBA and stuff like that. And then you have, you know, the play now and you have my team and all these things. And I definitely believe that, you know, it's unfair because you have a whole team of slashers you know in my team and you know if the blow by animation is that bad then yeah you're just gonna get blown by but i definitely think that if you're going to be playing this and you're going to be a slasher i feel like you're gonna have like it won't be as 
lucrative as it has been over the past couple years. Being a slasher over the past couple years has been really cool because of the blow by animations. Now, when it comes to the snatch bags, I, I, I admit, being flung halfway down the fucking court when somebody does a snatch bag is not fun. And it's super retarded because ain't nobody's flinging that far backwards. But they took out the snatch bags. So until we get the actual prelude, or not, maybe not in the prelude because we're not going to be able to play park. So until we get the actual game, you know, we're not going to be able to know. But I'm very excited to be playing it. Now, it might change up my build a little bit because there was a build that I already wanted. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about that during the prelude when I make the gameplay video on it. But if you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. I'll be producing tons of NBA 2K content. And don't worry, guys. I'm still going to be doing Fortnite content. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And thank you guys so much for 150 subs. The ride's been so awesome. It's only been like three and a half months. So it's absolutely insane. We gained like 68 subscribers in the last month itself. So that's that's the in my head that's crazy, man. But you guys have been awesome. Bear hug the sub button, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.